story goes like this. A few days ago, I noticed a big old cat in the backyard and these two little bitty cats. And the way this yard is fenced up, uh, it's a board fence about six foot tall. And I think what happened is that other cat has done come over in my backyard and hung out so long you know what I mean it just kinda calls my backyard home and I, th I think I think this is her baby cats I think they've been in the backyard all this time she goes and comes uh, I seen her early this morning but not the rest of the day and I got to thinking that they had not ate anything because they can't get up that fence. So I'm sharing a small portion of a can of tuna fish, some milk on the side there, and I did have a little pan of water out earlier. They seem to be quite, and they're kinda, kinda wildish because I have not interacted with them. I mean, they're getting on up some size now, and I didn't even know they was here. Lord bless her heart, the little thing probably about half starved to death. But anyways, I'll, uh, I think we're going to have some scrambled egg. I'll share a scrambled egg with them in the morning, you know, kind of build their health up. And, but... Oh, you have to, you know. They wouldn't have made it. I'm sure they would have somehow survived it. But, you know. Cats is a good thing. Don't forget to pet your cat. Oh, and an extra treat. Let's see who's paying attention now. Uh, to throw a dog comment in here is uh, probably I'll just go ahead and throw Annie an extra treat. You know, there's some good dogs out there. I think these cats are going to be all right. You know now I'll have to I'll have to name these cats now, and I'm not going to hasten I'm not going to hasten into giving these cats a moniker because one of them's kind of weakly there. That little that little uh, the lighter colored one right there, whatever color that is, gingham uh, calico or something like that. I think their mother is a calico cat for sure. Uh, one of them on the dark side, one of them on the light side. You know, how do you account for that in what we call evolution? Two entirely different cats, even the personalities, the way they hold their tail, this one's kind of, 
they they have different personalities immediately. Most of them is kind of kind of friendly, but with uh, hesitation. I like cats. I think this little one here. Uh, yeah, I like that cat. I may just go ahead and and keep that cat especially. I may pass the other one on off to someone else. I'm not sure. They probably ought to stay together. You know, I'm sure that they should stay together. I'm almost positive on that. I may take them up there to the farm. You know, if they hang around here and nobody claims them, don't want them, I think I'll take them up there to the farm. I've already got a wild cat. I say that. Uh, someone in the neighborhood uh, say I guess that's a community owned cat. I haven't even come up with a name as what I, that kind of will have to grow on y'all. So, you know, you can't just give a farm a name willy nilly. You can't do it. See the little the little cat over under at the end of the box. See, that's the kind. Of, that's the way it's been. That's the way it's been every time that I have encountered it. That cat. Uh, it goes over yonder where it can observe everything. You know, it wants to be there, but it don't want to be out in the uh, like like this one right here. It wants to be the star attraction. Oh, I think that supper, definitely, this little snack that they just had, uh, and both of them are. I, I give them a pretty good amount uh, earlier, uh, just kind of to fill them out, and because um, you really, you really, you really want the cat to adopt you, not you adopt the cat. Most, uh, I'm gonna say, lots of people probably make some mistake doing that. No, it's just some cat philosophy that come on to me. And I thought I'd share it with everyone from here on the east coast of Arkansas. Shop Dog Sam. I believe that cat's got a flea. I'm sure. I hope it don't get on me. But see right there, that's a that's a for sure sign of a flea. I'll have to I'll have to put some powder on her for. Uh, well, they're not going to go in the house definitely until they've had a flea powder. But we over yonder is the is the little that's going to be the sneaky one but right over yonder. You don't see. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be sneaky cat, and I'll just go ahead and call that cat. Call him out loud now in his name, sneaky cat. Um, but I think he's already spotted some. It's actually a dog in the neighborhood, three doors down, and uh, I think that cat is very alert as to cat kitty kitty kitty. See. It's uh, it's definitely watching something. There it is. Uh, it wasn't on my calling or nothing like that. It's just a cat done it natural. So, and cats are that way. You know, when you when you when you most depend on one, you know, they just kind of step aside and say, "Oh, it wasn't my fault." You know, pass it off on you. Whatever it is. From here on the East Coast, Arkansas shop dog sample.